morning, everybody. Thank you again for uh, joining me. And I like to say this, this is a, an honor and a privilege for me to be a messenger to you, uh, to break bread of life, the, the word of life with you, and to be able to share truth with you. And uh, I'm very excited about the things that the, the Lord has been showing me specifically about uh, being moved. And another way I'd like to say it, because this is more in line with what, what Scripture says, is being responsive. Being responsive. And uh, some of you have heard me use this example before, but um, in medical terminology, if you are dead, uh, and, and a medical personnel is looking at you, they would use the word, they are unresponsive, or if you are, if you are uh, unconscious or in a coma, they would use that terminology. Uh, the patient is unresponsive. So we're, we're saying be the opposite of unresponsive, we're saying be responsive, be moved. Be moved by the messages that are brought to you. Be moved by the life of the Word of God that comes to you. So this is, this, is an exciting, uh, this is an exciting topic for me, and I trust it will be exciting to you as well. So I'm going to jump in uh, to Matthew uh, 4, verse 2 to 4. And remember, this is kind of like our golden text, as Kenneth Hagin uh, used to say, our golden text. And uh, verse 3 says, The tempter came. And I want to tell you that the tempter is working in the world system, the system of Babylon, 24 hours a day. The tempter will come. And the tempter said to Jesus, if you are God's son, and he will always come to tempt you. If you are, uh, are you really, uh, did, is it really true? Are the words of life really true? If you are God's son, command these sto stones to be made loaves of bread. And this is what the enemy is so good at doing. There's always another way. There's always another way for provision. There's always another way that you can be fed. There's always another way that you can do things. There's always another way to have relationships. There's always another way to do everything. He'll tempt you with another way, 24 hours a day. But Jesus replied, it has been written, man shall not live and be upheld and sustained by bread alone, but by every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. So I wanted to get into a few basics regarding this. Jesus is not talking about your mortal body. He's not talking about the flesh because you can live by bread alone. Your body will live. So what is he talking about? He's talking about your spirit, your spirit being the real you. This, your, your spirit being your higher nature. You were created in the image and likeness of God. So therefore your spirit man is the higher nature or the higher you. So what is the lower you? Your mind, your will, your emotions, your flesh. That's your lower nature. Those are the things that can be easily tempted, easily persuaded, easily kept in bondage, but we'll get into that. So I'm going to jump to Galatians 5 verse 16. And if you've, if you've got a Bible, you're welcome to read this with me. Galatians 5 verse 16. Am I in the right place here? No. No, I'm in the wrong book completely. Galatians 5 verse 16. But I say, walk and live habitually in the Holy Spirit, responsive to and controlled and guarded by the Spirit. Then you will certainly not gratify the cravings and desires of the flesh, the human nature without God. So be responsive to the Holy Spirit habitually, which means all the time. I'm going to jump, uh, jump to Galatians 6 verse 8. So why am I saying 
be habitually responsive to the Holy Spirit. And here's your answer. For he who sows to his own flesh, his lower nature, will from the flesh reap decay and ruin and destruction. But he who sows to the Spirit will from the Spirit reap eternal life. So in the next session, I'm going to talk, I'm going to talk a little bit about what the, uh, the decay, the ruin, and the destruction looks like, and then what life from the Spirit looks like. Thank you for joining me. We're on a, we're on a journey in this, so please stay with me. Thank you. <music>